take a look at that. And I tell you what, so far, it's absolutely tame. It's okay, bud, it's okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One of the night Niles are back here on display at the Reptarium. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. I am so happy to be back here at BHB and, of course, at the Reptarium. And I have an amazing thing that I cannot wait to share with you guys. For you guys that have been watching for quite a while, you might remember the Night Niles. That's right. They were solid black Nile monitors and the only ones in the world. I think there was another baby imported this year. Regardless, I've got one of them back. And this is the cage that it's going to go into right here. It's going to be absolutely amazing. It's got a big water bowl. It's got different layers. It can go back here and get a little bit of a hide. It can come up here and really get super hot. It's about 115 degrees right there. So this is going to be absolutely incredible. What do you say we go ahead and take a look? I have not seen this animal since it was like little, so I'm super excited to see it again. Oh, doggy, she got big, that's for sure. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoop. let's see how it is. I've got a pretty good scar on my hand from one of these guys, but, oh. but take a look at that. And I tell you what, so far, it's absolutely tame. It's okay, bud, it's okay. Whoa, 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 it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. You're okay, you're okay. Wow, that thing is amazing. When it was a baby, it was jet black. And again, these guys are super rare. There's only a few of them in the world. I'm gonna go ahead and just let her go and see what she does. Go ahead, girl. This is your cage right now. What do you want? Oh my God, I cannot believe, oh, oh. I cannot believe how cool this animal is. Look at it. Oh my gosh. It's got some shed on its tail for sure. Oh, I tell you, what, and that is one thick tail. And these guys sometimes can be tail whippers, so you got to really be careful because this thing will give you a good whip for sure. But I'll be honest with you, I was expecting this animal to be pretty aggressive, and it is absolutely, look at it. It's super cool. Whoa! whoa. So that is absolutely incredible. All right, I think I'm going to just go ahead and, and let her go. Keep an eye on her for the next hour or so. I have a feeling she's going to absolutely love this cage. So there it is, guys. How exciting is that? One of the night Niles are back here on display at the Reptarium. I tell you, one of the cages I was really excited to get going were the mangrove snakes. Of course, I've enlisted Jessica because you're the most artistic. She really loves to decorate the cage, so I'm going to just let her go, kind of give her a little bit of a hand, but she's going to create an amazing environment for the mangroves, and then we'll move them over here. What do you think? Yeah, sounds great. All right, let's do it. Check this out, guys. I want to, I want to show you this. Michigan's reptile extravaganza. If you're interested in a birthday party, school event, private tour, or corporate party, please leave your name and number down below and we'll be happy to get back to you. You can also visit www.thereptarium.com for all of the hours of operation and extras that you can get. Have a wonderful day and stay wild. How freaking awesome is that? So I am going to put the number of the Reptarium down below. You guys can call as well as, guess what? www.thereptarium.com is live. So you can go down below, check that link out. You can go on that website. You can see scheduling. You can see dates. You can book tours. You can book birthday parties. You can book whatever you want. So I am so excited. Although we still have a lot of work to do to get open on the 21st of September, uh, I think we're going to get there. It may not be 100% done, but done enough to where we can actually open up and start getting you guys in here and seeing the place. I am so excited, but I was just really excited about that. I wanted to share it with you. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Bella's being silly. She just wants pets. She doesn't want any food. You're a good girl, huh? Here we go, the cage is done. Jessica basically did all the vines, kind of the plant stuff. I just helped kind of screw it together, so I think it looks absolutely amazing. And this is really what's gonna set these cages apart and really make them pop, is when we start getting some of the foliage in. Again, with the mangroves, there's the hot spot up here, so it can climb up if it wants to, hang down here. It can go in here to a cool spot, kind of hide a little bit. There's even some branches up here it can climb up to on the cold side, wherever it is. I think this is gonna be absolutely incredible. So we're just gonna go ahead and put some bedding in here, some water in here, and then we can move one over. The thing is with mangroves is that 
that they will eat each other. So I think I'm gonna move one over, let it be here for a couple days. Then I might try a second one when I'm gonna actually be here to watch them because the last thing I wanna do is have a mangrove eat another mangrove. I've actually had it happen before. So gotta be a little bit careful. I think the fact that this is such a nice cage and there's lots of different areas, we're gonna be okay, but I'll do one at a time. So the moment of truth, we are gonna go ahead and move one of the mangroves. We're gonna move a male in today and then maybe a female in next week so we can really keep an eye on them. Again, I don't want there to be any accidents. This gives me an opportunity to move this little monkey here into the cage and just see how he's doing and stuff like that. So let's do it. And the moment of truth. Come on, little one. You're gonna love this. Go ahead. Oh, that's gonna look so good in this cage. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks so good, doesn't it, Jessica? Yes, Isn't that it looks awesome? awesome. I know, it's freaking so cool. Oh my gosh, look at it going right into the back. That looks so awesome. Oh my gosh. I tell you, this may be one of my favorite snakes to have released so far. I mean, it looks amazing in there. Just with, you know, now this has all the foliage in it. It's got the climbing branches, got the vines over here, got that dark spot that it can hide way back over there. Oh my God, this is gonna be perfect for this animal. Oh my gosh, I, this, this is awesome. This is truly cool. You know, there are so many little things that has to be done in the reptariums before we open on the 21st. I just did this little piece here that's at the front entrance that basically when you're walking out, it just looks a little bit more tied into the theme. Before it was just drywall, but now it kind of ties into the entire theme of the zoo. You can see Lori over there, she's doing all the touch-up work. And by touch-up work, you can see she's putting the silicone in there and then she's using that coloring to kind of tie this all in and feather it in just so it's completely seamless. There's a lot of that still left to do. She's done a tremendous amount of it, but we still have a lot to go. It's amazing how just doing stuff like this changes the look so much. And that's it. It's like magic. I tell you what guys, I am loving this Argus monitor. I mean, it is just always like just hanging out. I'm gonna go ahead and see if it wants to eat. Do you wanna eat, bud? Oh my gosh, it wants to eat, all right. Holy moly, did you guys see that? Oh my God, I'm gonna give it another mouse. That is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, oh, it's like crazy. Oh my gosh. All right, last mouse, last mouse. <laughs> I've never seen anything eat so much in my life. Yo, know, we're gonna bury this diet up. You don't wanna just do rodents, you wanna do all kinds of things like ground turkey, eggs, of course rodents every now and then, some bugs, all kinds of different stuff. But this guy, he likes to eat. What an amazing animal. My buddy Andy actually came in from San Diego. Noah's been hanging out with him. He's just gonna help for a few days. Kinda came in for the open, but we didn't really get it. The thing I want to ask you guys is that about a month ago, I was in California with Noah, and Andy did the death nut challenge. Have you guys ever heard about it? Tell them about it. So you basically go through five different levels. It has like two or three peanuts each, and as you go like from level one to level five, they get hotter and hotter. And by the time you get to level five, it's literally like eating fire, like eating charcoal bricks that are hot. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, and, and we filmed it, but I'll be honest with you, I ended up not using the footage because I, I'll be honest, I don't like to see people in pain. And he was, I, he could barely talk. No, you weren't there, were you? I was not there. Oh my God, you've got it. You've got the challenge. You want to do it? No. Oh my gosh. So the question is, <laughs> you guys, I do you want to see it? I, if you can, I, I'll go ahead and edit and I'll throw it at like the end of a vlog or I can actually put it on Andy's channel. Let me know in the comments. Definitely go give him a follow. I'll put his link down in the description. Uh, let me know what you guys want to do. If you want to see this guy in pain, I'll put it on the vlog. It was horrible. I hope you guys want to see it. If not on his channel, you can come and watch it on mine. <laughs> but either way, I guess you'll get a chance to see it. And. Uh, uh, my suggestion is you never do the death nut challenge. Winding down another amazing day back here at the Reptarium. You know, sometimes progress doesn't actually look like progress, but it actually is progress. And the thing we did today is we straightened out all these racks, we joined them all together, so now they're all completely anchored into one spot. And look at how they flow so much better. I mean, they're not wiggly and waggly, they're perfectly good right here. And by the way, look at how amazing that is right there. I mean, she has just been sitting there for the last couple hours, just like that, almost like it's ready to to hunt. But regardless, all of these are now joined together. All we have to do for the center aisle is actually do one more little wrap.
rack here and then there'll actually be a door that swings open so that you can get back here to service stuff from the behind and then we'll put all the face stuff on it in a couple days again all of this wood is going to be covered with the same type of materials like this similar anyways so it's pretty interesting again we have I don't know six days something I don't even know how many days there's not a lot of days left but we have a lot of work to do but hey days like today make me feel really good because we did make a lot of progress even though things may not have looked a lot different they certainly were so we are getting closer people and I am getting more and more excited every single day and I know you guys are gonna get bored of this but I just love walking through this place at night just seeing it lit up with the lights out I can imagine when these cages are all lit up how amazing it's gonna look Bella's back in her sleeping spots like she always is but just look at how cool this is oh my gosh you guys don't even understand this is such a dream come true and the night really quick in the incubator take a look at some of these right here Oh my gosh, this just hatched out. There's some amazing new babies that are in the egg. I don't even know what some of these are, but they're absolutely incredible. I tell you what, I love coming home after a long day and checking the incubator and seeing some amazing eggs. Look at the yield in this clutch here. A bunch of little white babies. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Looks like there's one little white baby still in the egg over here, but that is a gorgeous clutch of eggs. And speaking about a gorgeous clutch of eggs, take a look at these. These are just a handful of Lucy's eggs. There's actually three boxes of these eggs, and they are ready to hatch any minute. I mean, just take a look at how deflated they are. Oh my gosh. So I think tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and cut Lucy's clutch. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do that, because there's about 40 eggs in there, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut them. I don't know a tremendous amount about retiction genetics to be honest with you so I'm going to be cutting them and I'm going to probably be like I don't know what this is but it's awesome let me know in the comments if you want me to do that in the meantime I'm going to go ahead and shut the vlog down tonight and call it a good day I hope that you have an amazing day evening whenever you happen to be watching as always your support means the world to me and I truly do love you guys so much can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here can you smash that like button turn the post notifications on so you know when I upload a video make a comment so I can read about you guys be kind to someone and I promise I will We'll see you guys tomorrow cutting some of Lucy's eggs.